Hi, Prof here again. I'm uh, just going to do a very quick tutorial on drum 128. Uh, great way for going through sounds really, really quickly. Um, setting up a drum rack, uh, 128 samples per instrument. Um, just to give you a quick idea how it's actually done. So if you uh, create a MIDI channel here, um, and then what you do is you drop in an instrument rack onto that expand it and what you're going to do is go to wherever your samples are um, these are from the vengeance uh, one of the vengeance essential house volume three so these are the kicks that's on here so in your instrument rack if you open up your kicks so we got kicks from one to let's say for example 128 going to select all of those kicks and I'm going to drop them right in here onto the chain um, once you do that give them a chance to load in uh, what you can do is um, so we got all the kicks that's on here if I now play one of those it's going to play all 120 at the same time just going to rename that command R to kicks okay what I'm actually going to do now is now create another MIDI channel. Um, again, uh, I'm going to take the snares this time. So what I can do is rename this to snares. Okay, and basically the same uh, same process. You're going to drop an instrument rack in here. Going to expand it so you can see the chain. Go back to where your snares are. Uh, one snare, let's say, is 127 something like that you want to drop all of those in might take a minute for it to do that okay so that's the kicks there I just drop all them in there okay so let's, let's take your snares again and again we're going to drop them in here when you're dealing with a large amount like that it tends to run a little bit slower um, <coughs> okay so now you got all your snares in there so on these you got your kicks and on here we got the snares um, and again start another mini track I'll rename that command R we're gonna call that hi-hats we say and let's go do exactly the same thing gonna put an instrument rack in show the chain go back to your source uh, symbols and we're going to use closed hats <coughs> from 1 to 127 I believe so I'm just taking from 1 to 127 uh, you can be exact on that and put in 128 you can put in as many as you want or as little as you want um, we're going to drop those in there. So we got exactly the same thing that we got the hi hats in here. So if we go back to the kicks for a second, then we're just going to show the chain. And as you can see um, down here, uh, they're all actually on one. So if I was to trigger one of those, it's going to play every one. So I'm going to do is take the first, well, maybe if they're all highlighted, you can bring them all across. Then you're going to right click. And you're going to distribute range equally. So now as you look down through it, uh, you got one on each channel except for the last one there. Yeah, so I'm going to delete that one. So now we got one basically on each one. Um, click on your macros button here. And um, what you're now going to do is you're going to map that. I'm going to highlight the chain and you're going to map it right there. Okay, so when you... Uh, come back to that. We'll actually come back to that later. So I'm going to rename that command R kicks. R kick. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for uh, the snares show and bring them all across. Right click, distribute ranges equally. Uh, this one just maybe needed one little bit extra at the end, but that's fine. Um, click on your macros button, map mode, highlight. And you're going to map them to here, and you can rename this one. <coughs> I'm just going to rename snares, obviously. Um, now we can go 
and the hi hats and exactly the same thing we're going to go to the chain uh, just to show you that if you just even just do one it does, doesn't have to be all of them right click distribute ranges equally it'll still do it and you don't have to highlight all of them so and we are going to midi map this macro one okay and we're going to rename that one uh, hi-hats okay so now what we have on each one of these channels is we got snare kicks and hi-hats next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a new midi channel so midi track and in this midi track we're going to install a drum rack it's going to take a drum rack and put it on here um, now I'm triggering this with my uh, well I'm not actually triggering it at the moment um, but we can come back to that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here to my instrument rack and I am now going to take uh, my instrument rack of kicks and I'm going to bring it onto my drum rack here and just drop it on here so that instrument rack is now on C1 on the drum rack, uh, which is the, we can rename this, uh, rename kick. Okay. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the snares. Take the snares onto the drum rack and we can put that right on here. Again, you can set up your drum rack as basically any way you want it to. I'm using three here, so usually what I would do is I have kick, uh, snare, rename this, uh, S N A. Okay, so I'd have kick, snare, uh, actually use four different type of hi-hats, um, a kick and a snare, maybe two snares. Um, one open hi-hat, you're gonna have four maybe uh, percussions. Um, I like to put a synth in there. Um, and maybe another effects so you're just basically using this one but you literally have as many options as you know you've got 128 on each one uh, so we just go back and we do exactly the same thing here with the hi-hat hi-hat onto the drum rack and we'll stick that onto d1 just for right now wait till that goes on and we'll rename that <coughs> okay so that's not you we'll rename this just hi-hats for right now so next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand no we don't need to expand all of them so on here we got kicks snares and hi-hats and kicks so if you now go on the, the um the macros on your drum rack what you're going to do is you're going to midi map each one of these to here so if i go to my kick i can midi map that to here if I go to my snare I can now midi map my snare onto macro 2 and if I go to the last one of hi-hats and again if you've got you know 16 different um, instruments that you want to use here so you have 4x4 four four grid 16 and we're going to map the hi-hat onto this one okay so that's what we got so now you got a kick you got a snare and you got a hi-hat okay so um, I'm not going to use my controller, I'm just basically going to do a 4 on the floor here. Um, going to do the hi-hats on the offs. Okay, and then we got on the 2 and the 4. Okay, so this is what we got now. Okay, so that, now we have a drum loop actually going here. But what we want to do is, you know, want to be able to change your kick or your snare or your hi-hat to see what matches whatever you're doing so now you take your kick uh, with your midi controller or however you want to do it and if you see on the kick here it's going to actually move across i'm going to do exactly the same thing with the snare and exactly the same thing with the hi-hat So as you can see, you can very, very quickly go through and 
uh, change whatever you want. So I'll just give you a quick idea of that to see if you can find a groove on it. Let's get that tempo up a little bit. One, two, three, six. Yeah, Now again, if you wanted to, what you could actually do is uh, if you hold down the Alt key, and I'm just going to drag the hi hat across to uh, to D sharp one. What that's actually going to do is it's going to duplicate uh, another one, uh, another hi hat one on here. That's what I was saying about creating maybe four different hi hats. Uh, the reason I would do that is I'm now going to go in and macro this one um, and I'm going to MIDI map it to this okay and I would rename that um, maybe hi-hat 2 uh, I like to have different hi-hats and you can also go ahead and pan these left or right so um, when you're actually in here what it, you could do is pan one of your hi-hats to the left one to the right and select different hi hats. So if I now go back into uh, my clip here, oh yeah, go back into my clip and let's say um, I'm gonna put a hat here, hat here, and a hat here, hat, hat, I hat here, 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 and one here. Okay, so we got different hats going on here, and let's just highlight the hats and vary them okay so take them and vary those as well um, now you'll have a, a, an interesting pattern when you're going because you got both the left and the right hats here so so as you can hear there now I got two sets of hats going and one is left and one is right That's how you create your 128. Um, Ill Gates, I think, is the guy that, that kind of came out with this idea first. Uh, so thanks to him for that. So what I basically do is I call it a, a drum rack. 128 is the first thing that goes into uh, when I start a new tune. Um, and like that, you can go from there. If you don't like whatever, what kicks are doing what, then you can change them around and see what fits. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up and uh, talk to you next time. Me, I profit. Thanks.